Welcome to the Steamboat Art Museum and the retrospective exhibit of Richard Galusha, An Artist's Journey. The Steamboat Art Museum was founded in 2006. This retrospective exhibition of Richard Galusha perfectly showcases our renovated spaces in the building and completes the vision of our founders to present works of art to the community of Northwest Colorado, reflecting and enhancing our culture and heritage. We are known for presenting retrospective exhibits of master living artists, such as Clyde Aspavig, Kwong Ho, Scott Christensen, Jim Morgan, John Fawcett, and Ken Carlson, as well as attracting exhibitions of Oil Painters of America National Show and the American Women Artists National Show. Thus, it is with pleasure and a sense of pride that the Steamboat Art Museum presents Richard Galusha's retrospective, An Artist's Journey. Hi, my name is Rich Galusha and I invite you to see my retrospective here at the Steamboat Art Museum. This is a group of work that I've completed over a 35 year period since coming to Steamboat in 1986. Growing up in a ranch in West Texas, Richard developed a love for drawing horses at an early age. He moved to Boulder, Colorado with his family when he was in middle school. And after high school, he joined the Navy and traveled to the Far East, Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands, continuing to paint. In 1986, he moved to Steamboat Springs for an art teaching job at the local high school and was for many years an instructor at Colorado Mountain College. Retiring in 2005, he proceeded to create an esteemed career as an artist, educator, gallery owner, and a founder of the Steamboat Art Museum. In addition, the Culver Plume Youth Gallery features portraits he painted in various media of his students during his 20-year teaching career. The gallery also displays the high school work of his former students who have built careers of their own. This exhibit is a testimony to the importance and contributions of strong art programs, educators, and cultural offerings to rural areas everywhere. Richard's work is distinctive as he uses bold color with an impressionistic style to portray the landscapes and Western history of the Yampa Valley, Northwest Colorado, and the Little Snake River Valley. In gathering for this retrospective more than 80 paintings, many of them quite large from his 35-year career as an artist, Richard has fulfilled our dream of creating a space that not only appropriately shows his life's work, but also informs and inspires both locals and visitors to our community. During the 1990s, I was working on these paintings, uh, which are part of the uh, Pat Mantle Horse Drive. And this is a drive that happens in Northwest Colorado, and there are over a thousand horses in this drive. And this one's called Browns Park Remuda. And these horses, when they drive on the crag, and they go through the season, they're then driven back out during the winter time and they have to live out on the desert. And then this was called Out in Front. The reason this is called Out in Front is that the riders, when, they're, when you're moving horses, the riders get in front of the horses so they can hold them back. Where if you're move, moving cattle, you're pushing the cattle forward. This painting here is called Choosing Horses. This is a two-day drive, and once they get the horses from Browns Park to Craig, Colorado, they then divide the horses up between all of the stables that are in Colorado and Wyoming. So this is the foreman, and he's picking the horses that he wants his rider to go and collect for him. This painting here, is an important painting in the collection. This is uh, a cabin in the village. He wanted a painting of showing friendship, and so we called it Moonlight Gathering. 
I had to get up in the middle of the night and actually look at the snow to get the color correct on this for this painting. As we go through the, the museum, there are different sections showing different kinds of uh, subject matter. In this particular room, I call this more of a, a catch-all, which shows a lot of different subjects. And the one painting that uh, I'd like to talk about is this one here. It's called Four Bears. And this is the scene that I actually saw up in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, now, I had to paint it from memory. So when I did this, I did a very small sketch, no bigger than this big. And I then took it and made it bigger. And I used a lot of different references that I've been collecting over the years to get the anatomy right and all of that. So this is uh, a mother and her three cubs. And you'll notice that each and every one of them have a different attitude. Uh, this one is kind of looking out, uh, protecting. This one seems very secure because it's next to his mother. And there's a little bit of a uh, heart shape here. And then the painting has lots of variety of textures in it. So it was a fun painting to work on. When I came to Steamboat, I came here to apply for the high school art position. And this is the painting that I showed the superintendent and the principal in order to get the job. Uh, this is the oldest painting in the exhibit. And this was done in 1985. These are some portraits that I've done all of these are from life except for this one. Um, this was a painting I did for uh, my brother who was in the sports media shows and he put on the shows and one of his shows he put on in San Francisco and Joe Namath was the main draw. So Joe Namath saw the painting and he signed it. But the rest of these are actually uh, people who sat for me. So if I could get them to sit for me for three hours, I gave them the portrait. So I have a lot of students out there, uh, their parents most likely have their portraits. In this section here is work of my former students. I had over 35 award winners, uh, one international winner. As we enter to the big room, these are paintings that shows the area of Steamboat Springs. And uh, the Yampa Valley, also up on the Little Snake River in Wyoming, and the Zirkles. This painting here is a painting called Cottonwood Creek. The, the other name for this creek is called Battle Mountain Creek. And this is up in the Little Snake River area of cottonwoods uh, that we see typically here in uh, the Steamboat area and in this area, section of Colorado. This is called August, up on Rabbit Ears Pass, next to Dumont Lake. And if you come in closer on this, you can see just how impressionistic it is. 
Um, this, of course, is the studio piece. In this room here, these are my travel paintings. When I met Don Wachter, I met him at one of my shows at the depot. Uh, the Steamboat Arts Council put on four shows for me there, and we always had to compete with other artists to get the best month, and the best month of the year was March. I was not able to get the March show, but it, was, but it just happened that Don Walker only came during February. And when he saw my show, he bought about four paintings, invited me to have dinner with him. I was telling him about taking trips and painting for other people and trading for the trip with paintings. He then, uh, for the next 12 years, took my wife and I around the world to different places. These are some of the paintings here. There were a total of six frames. We brought two of them from his collection. You can see the six, and they're all filled with the travel paintings, on-the-spot paintings of different places that we have been. There's Greece, Italy, Europe, um, Nepal, and we would rotate these paintings around so he could see a set of these in St. Louis where his home is. And then he also had them here in a home. This is a trip I took with my uncle who was a big game hunter, and we went to Tanzania. This is the equipment that I took with me. While I was there, I painted these watercolors here, and there were a lot more that I did. But you can see the camps in here, you can see some of the animals. When I showed these to Don, he said, this is what I would like you to do for me. So we ended up painting probably over 130 paintings. Uh, my wife also painted. Uh, she did watercolors and some oils, and I primarily uh, just did oils for uh, Mr. Walker. I'd like to thank you for sharing this time with me. If you'd like to see more of the show, we have a catalog that's 238 pages that shows the show, also talks about my life and the people who have influenced me the most. Um, if you'd like to get this book, you can get it here at the Steamboat Art Museum store or you can contact me at Galusha Studios and that's on the website. So thank you again.